Okay, here's another integration question. There are two parts to it. Let's do each part separately. Now, looking at part A, we have 2 sine of 2x, it's 2 sine of 3x, sine of 2x. Now, you will remember in my uh, revision video, if you see a sine or a cos with different um, multiples of the angle, and they are not uh, to any power, then you have to use the half angle formula. And here they are. These are given to you in your formula booklet. Okay, so I want you to immediately think to yourself, what, uh, which one of these shall I use? Now, which one is this like? A sine and a sine, a sine and a sine is like this one here. Okay? Right. So, this is what we're going to do. We are going to, we want a plus b over 2 to be 3x. So we want a plus b over 2 to be 3x, i.e. we want a plus b to be equal to 6x. And we want a minus b over 2, we want a subtract b over 2 to be equal to 2x, i.e. we want a subtract b to be equal to 4x. Now, it, clearly these are quite easy to solve simultaneously you could spot the answer or you could add them together you could get that 2a must be 10x so a must be equal to 5x and if a is equal to 5x then b must be equal to a single x okay so what we're going to do is we have we want the integral of this now let's put a minus in there for now and put a minus outside, so in fact we've made no difference. That now looks exactly like that, a minus 2 something. And we can say this is, keep the, this minus there, this is negative the integral of cos A subtract cos B. So it would be cos A is 5x subtract cos B, which is single x, all respect to x. And so what we can do then, we can actually integrate this now, this is going to be the integral of cos is sine, so this is negative a fifth sine 5x, and here these two negatives would be plus sine x, and it'd be plus c. So our answer is as simple as that in this case, and we're done. Now part b, here's a substitution question. Standard is 8 marks this time, maybe it's a bit more tricky, let's work through it. Um, when x is 0, um, u squared is going to be equal to 1, so u, we're going to take the positive, is going to be 1. When x is um, 3, u squared is going to be 4, so u is going to be 2, we'll take the positive. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to finally just say that u squared is equal to x plus 1. Differentiating everything with respect to x, this implicitly would be 2u du dx would be 1, so dx is the subject, is 2u du. I think now we're in a position to actually write this. This is going to be the integral, not between 0, but between 1, and not between 3, but between 2. u squared, well, uh, sorry, x squared is going to be, <coughs> uh, clearly, x is the subject, x is going to be equal to u squared subtract 1. So if we want x squared, it's u squared subtract 1, all squared, over um, the square root of x plus 1, which is simply u. And dx, we're going to write as 2u du. Okay, now we can uh, cancel the, the u's there, and we're going to have ourselves, we're going to take this 2 on the outside. This is 2, the integral between 1 and 2, of u squared minus 1 squared du. Now, the way to do this one is, is just to expand this bracket. This is going to be 2, the integral between 1 and 2, u to the 4 minus 2u squared plus 1 all with respect to u. And actually, let's go ahead now and integrate this thing. Keep the 2 where it is. This will be a fifth, u to the 5, subtract 2 thirds, u cubed, plus u, all between 1 and 2. So keep the 2 where it is. Let's substitute in 2 here. Um, if we put in 2, be, uh, it would be equal to 32 over 5 for this one. Subtract, if we put in 8 here, it would be 16 over 3 plus 2, all of that, subtract the answer when we put 1 in, a fifth, subtract 2 thirds, plus 1. So all it's a case of in this case is actually just working these things out.
this thing here works out to be uh, 2, this works out to be 46 over 15. Take away Eight over fifteen. Okay, and we can then do and we get ourselves the answer in this case. Um when we work it all out, seventy six over fifteen, which is all we could write that as five and one fifteenth, however you'd like to do it. And we're done.